Welcome to your Midweek Connection. I hope you are having a great day and I hope your holidays were fantastic. Let's just talk about the word rest. What do you think of when you hear the word rest, right? What really comes to your mind? Because I think about like peace or sleep or vacation or harmony in the world or maybe even goodwill. Um, but all of those words, we don't actually practice well as humans, which is kind of unfortunate because rest is one of the things that God commanded us to do. The Sabbath is so, so, so very important. Um, I'm, if I think about all of those words, I think there's a few things our society could do a little bit more, right? Maybe we could sleep a little more, right? That rest. Um, maybe we could be a hair more quiet. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Maybe we could listen more. That restful listening of just participating and paying attention and listening. Or maybe having peace with other people. Regardless of how we feel, we just rest in listening to them. So I wrote down a few ways that we can practice rest. Maybe soul rest, right? Our soul needs rest or mind rest, right? Our brain could shut off a little bit more, right? We could practice that or body rest, right? Or heart rest, sounds so good to just even think about resting my heart. But when we look into the Bible about rest, there's one little verse that's just packed with information, and that is Psalm 62, 5. So I'm going to read it out of the NIV. It says, yes, my soul find rest in God. My hope comes from him. So we're, yes, in agreement, right? And then we're saying, my soul, find rest in God. See, that would be us practicing rest, right? Talking to our soul to find rest in God. Action word, right? So the King James Version says it like this. My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. So now we have like agreement, yes, talking to our soul again, my soul, wait thou only upon God. So our soul can find rest only in God. And then we're expecting for God to move in our lives, right? For my expectation is from him. And then this is what the New King James Version says, my soul, talking again to our soul, my soul, Wait silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. So now here we are, we're waiting, we're resting, we're in agreement, we know it's only God, right? But now it's wait silently for God because we're expecting something from Him. Isn't that so good? I think it's so good. Okay, so... The last one I want to read is from the message, and the message version is a paraphrased version of the Bible, and so it's paragraph. So the the verses five and six are put together, and it reads this way. God, the one and only, I'll wait as long as he says. Everything I hope for comes from him. So why not? He's solid rock under my feet breathing room for my soul, an impregnable castle, I'm set for life. So now we have agreement. We're talking to our soul. We're going to wait as long as he said. We might wait silently, but we're going to wait for God as long as he says. Not for only as long as what we want, but for as long as what God wants for us. Our hope comes from him because he's a solid rock under my feet, breathing room for my soul. So mind, body, soul, heart, all of those rest pieces 
Can you imagine breathing room for your soul? And if we could learn how to practice this, this rest, our hope is completely wrapped up in God. So don't be afraid to tell your soul to rest. Don't be afraid to do that. My soul, rest in God. And as you walk into 2022, I hope that you find and practice rest for your soul. Have a great day.